Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce my recently released book entitled Rationality, the antidote to being fooled by the industry. If you read my book, you will realize that the term industry not only comprises profit-maximizing enterprises, but also careless governments and self-serving lobbies. All this is what we observe in our society nowadays. As a motivating example, let's consider the economic domain. What has happened in the last hundred years? What developments could be observed and what were the consequences? Well, in 1920, the US dollar was backed up by gold. The currency was stable and unemployment, as well as employment, followed the natural courses. There was not much room for money printing by the central bank. However, in 1933, this gold standard broke down and different modifications have been implemented, which had the purpose to sustain the foundation of trust in the dollar as a medium of exchange. Finally, on August 15, 1971, United States President Nixon announced that the country would no longer redeem currency for gold, serving as the final step in abandoning the gold standard. What happened in the wake of abandoning the gold standard then? Well, the great mathematician Beno Mandelbrot argued the beer market of 1973 to 1974 wiped 43% of stock values, and the end of the gold standard for the dollar turned the sleepy currency market into the world's largest casino. What is the situation nowadays? Well, in the wake of the global financial crisis from 2008 to 2009, central banks all over the world engaged in excessive money printing to safeguard the economies. Even though the global economic ecosystem had not recovered from the extreme consequence of the global financial crisis, governments did the same again in the 2019 to 2020 period in the wake of the global COVID-19 pandemic. The debt burden of governments, especially in the US, is enormous. As of now, the national debt in the United States exceeds 30 trillion dollars. Other Western economies face similar problems. The inevitable question that the rises then is, who is paying back all the debts? Well, there are two possibilities. Either we or the future generation has to carry that burden. Which either means constrained consumption by a substantial margin, or high inflation, or both. Note that high inflation has also other severe consequences on both savings and debts. Now, it's August 2022, and in every country around the globe, the inflation has skyrocketed. It should come as no surprise that people lost trust in the monetary system and were looking for alternatives. The rise of cryptocurrencies in the wake of the global financial crisis could be considered a manifestation of distrust in the prevalent monetary system. However, this new digital unregulated market involves other issues, such as money laundry and thefts in terms of cyber attacks. Ray Dalio, the founder of Bridgewater Associates, managing the largest hedge funds in the world, argued, the world has gone mad and the monetary system is broken. In my book, I show that not only the monetary system is broken, but in the last century, we have observed extreme changes across all domains of life, how families are constituted and how we eat, and so on and so forth. My book covers the following domains on human life, professions, relationships, health, savings and, and investments, and religion. After defining the concept of rationality, I go through various examples to show how irrational behavior manifests itself across all those different domains in human life. Due to my profession as Associate Professor of Finance, I assume that most people are perhaps most interested 
and what I have to tell about savings and investments, especially given the fact that we face extreme high levels of inflation. After having discussed negative examples, which is also referred to as via negativa approach, I elaborate on how irrational behavior could be manifested across various domains. I'm sure that my new book is a very timely and interesting contribution, and I hope and I wish that those of you who read it will find it some piece of useful information. Thank you for your attention.